there's a pretty steady stream of folks getting back on the ship. I'm sure it's a combination of elation folks and our folks as well, but a lot less crowded and tons of free chairs, so can't beat it. So the plan for now is to come check out this area over here, kind of closer to the pier. We've done a little looking around over here, like, you know, around this, you know, stick yeller device and some of this other stuff. That's a, that's a technical term, stick yeller device. So lots of free chairs over here now. That might actually be a good strategy, is if you get here to Grand Turk and you're the second ship in, maybe go hang out over at the pool for your morning. Hopefully nobody poops in it like has happened to us today. Uh, and do that for your morning because all the chairs over at the pool are free. And then once the early ship people kind of start clearing out, usually around lunchtime, noon I'd say, then the free chairs over here start opening up. Or just pay $25 or $30 and get a vendor supported chair and, you know, put some money back into the ecosystem. So there we go. If we actually like to sit in the chairs and use the chairs, I could see that being a valid option for us. But we just like it to hold our backpacks while we're out here looking at stuff. Sea urchin, I don't want to step on that. They're like in stuff, you can't okay. step on them. I, well, I don't think. I got my water shoes on, so I'll be safe. Okay. You go say hello to them. Looks like Dee has made it all the way over to the buoy line. You can't quite get to the pier. They've got it roped off just ahead of the pier. But maybe she'll see some cool stuff. Yeah, it's the little silver ones. No, they're pretty big, actually. Oh, the big silver like ones. Like the ones in Nemo that swim down in the net. <laughs> okay. No, they gotcha. are. That's, that's what they are. All right. Yeah, they kind of probably live under the pier, but you're trapped in by these terrible, terrible buoys. I know, right? Gosh, what's what up with that? The other beach? How dare they keep you safe by locking you away from your beautiful fish? Uh, I'm pretty sure the fish. <laughs> That's true, actually. We've never really ventured too much over to the other side. It's a little rockier over there, but it might prove uh, for some good snorkeling. I don't think we're going to get over there today, but <laughs> you know what? You never know. <sighs> Very peaceful. It's getting peacefuler and peacefuler by the minute as those crazy, crazy Alation people get back on their ship and get ready to sail away. <laughs> Just kidding. We love you, Alation. We've never sailed the Alation, but we still need to. Trumpet fish. On top of the surface. Too. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see you keep like diving down like you're going to pop up on the other side of the buoy line. No, I don't break the rules. I know. I see you going under and then I'm like, oh, she's going to do it. But nope, you're being good. Oh. <laughs> That's right. You stay on this side. I guess maybe they usually have somebody on that jet ski to come get you or somebody on that lifeguard chair up there, but I don't see anybody. Look at her, she's getting closer and closer over to that corner. I know she's just going to bust through there and go chasing after a fish here in a little bit. She better not! Excuse me, ma'am. Are you sticking your arm underneath the rope? Uh, ma'am. 
I think I'm pretty sure I saw one of your appendages go underneath that rope. Oh, did you just touch your leg to that rope? You know, they're going to electrify this rope one that scared day. Me. Actually, that would be stupid. Why would they put an electrified rope in the water? But anyway, <laughs> they are going to, you know what? I don't know what they're going to do. This, they're so shiny. Oh dear. There's a lot of everybody's looking down at them. Yeah. Let me know if you see anything cool up there. All right, yeah, y'all holler if anything cool happens. <laughs> Please tell me. Y'all be like, look at that shark. And we'll be like, oh, I yep, look, there's a whistle. Oh, oh they're crossing the line. Yep, right there, the guy in the red and white is like, please do not cross the yellow line because these people are trying to take pictures, get all the cute shots. And no, he's like, please. <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> so he is like, please do not cross the line, do not collect $200, and you know, obey the rules. What if I want to cross the line? No, you're not allowed to. This is like so serene. Well, other than the sunshine right in my eyeball holes. So serene. And you know, the constant threat of barracudas and stuff. Super serene. And we can even come over here and touch a buoy. The ones on the other side were like kind of grungy. These are some nice looking fresh buoys. From oh my gosh, you are about to get whistled at by a whistle man. For sticking my arm out. Yes. It was just my arm. That is rude. I can do what I want. Nope, obey the rules. I did. Watch, see here, here's the technique. You take this rope and you just kind of shove it <laughs> over toward the direction you want to go. You just shove it. That's what you do. Yeah, see, and then it gives you a little bit more swimming area. Shove it. See, look at that. I just got you like three more feet to swim in. Thank you. I'm going to go over there. <laughs> oh, gosh. Pull it back. No, Pull it. D getting ready to go ride a jet ski. I'm not quite sure what she's up to, but maybe if she gets on the jet ski, then she would have like the legal authority to be like, and just ride under the bridge over to the other swimming area. I don't think that's a thing. But I mean, you never know. Turks and Caicos, that might be a thing. Whoever possesses the power of the jet ski can just go wherever they want to. I just um, was Googling some stuff out here in the water, as I'm prone to do, and it turns out that if you get on that jet ski, you have the authority to ride over to the other um, swim zone. So Let me see your phone. Just go, uh, just, no, it's not, I Googled on the GoPro. So just go get on that jet ski right there. <laughs> you just hop on it. And, and then, then and she then, was never seen again. <laughs> and then, wham! Never gets to go back on a cruise ever again. Banned from cruising for life. That is, not, carnival. that is not a thing. I guess I'd have to pick a different line. Oh, no. Oh, gosh, you rebel you. Yeah. All right, no jet ski. Find the octopus. No jet ski. All right, yeah, there was a rumor of an octopus. There's always a rumor of an Over, octopus. There is. I never see it. I don't it's like, it's true. I, I think it's like a rock that's shaped like one. All right, well, let's go see Rocktopus and just see what's up. So. <laughs> It's over there somewhere. We passed by some people earlier and one was like hooting through their snorkel. And then turns out that they were trying to tell their friend they had seen an octopus. It does seem like every time we come here, somebody's like, octopus, and we've not seen it. So maybe we can break that streak today, but I'm, you know, maybe not. try to venture out here and see what this big old pole pole is all about. I've never really gotten too close to it. Dee's over there kind of already because she fast and I'm slow. Well, it's a pole. Looks like some big old half rusty lighthouse, but I mean, I don't think it's really a lighthouse. Some kind of channel marker, depth marker, some kind of thing. I'm sure somebody in the comments will be like, how dare you not know? the historical significance of the Great Pole of Grand Turk. And I'm gonna be like, oh, 
you so smart. There's a jet ski guy out there. Is that the same? Oh, I think it is that same jet ski guy. He has all the power. He gets to go wherever he wants to. Don't mess with jet ski guy. people coming down the beach well from the jack shack area and points beyond heading back to their ship i still think it's a lot of carnival elation folks who have had a great day but they got to get back now unless they want to live in grand turk which you know sounds like a good idea but i doubt they do i think they're on a uh, five-day loop right now and we looked up and the cruise director i don't even know if i mentioned it earlier is jen who we had on the legend to alaska she actually just got on the Elation Monday, and this is their uh, first loop with her as the cruise director. At least from what I was reading. Kind of cool. Ooh, I'm out here now over top of this big anchor. I'm sure Dee has filmed it a couple of times already, but I, do, I usually don't do a ton of floating out here in the Cannon and Anchor area. Ooh. And now in our continued tour of Grand Turk landmarks, we have the Cannon. Ooh, and a little bit of my elbow. How about that? Wow. And the Carnival Pride. Whoosh. She's a-diving. There's where they keep their D's here in Grand Turk. Oh, there you are. I to make sure I pop up on this side of the room. Oh, <laughs> that's true. Don't you be sneaking to the other side. There's sea urchins under there. I have been touring the anchor and the cannon oh, and good. all kinds of fun stuff from above the water. The drop-off is big over here. Yeah. You can see it at one point. It's really starting to clear out down there where we, uh, well, Carl and Joyce and we shared their chair. Most of the umbrellas are folded up. People are rolling out. I think we have about one hour until back on board time for the elation, which means three hours until back on board for us. They were here 8 to 4, or 3.30, and we're here 10 to 6, or 5.30. And now it's Electric Slide, as presented by D through a snorkel. Wow. That was really good. Right. That, that, yeah. Yeah, you just you just sing it. It don't matter if it's the right part or if they're singing or not. You should, yeah, it's good stuff. Oh gosh. <laughs> that, that that's a rope. Did the rope frighten you? A little bit. That actually sounds like your fish song. Has your fish finding song been the electric slide this whole time? Wow. I want you to get to that fast part again. That was exciting. Whoa, chicken. It's that sounded like you said, whoa, chicken. <laughs> Best electric slide ever. I have so much water in my mask wow. and I'm laughing. Oh gosh, she's gonna keep singing some more. <laughs> you know, watch your mouth even through a snorkel. 
You can't say words like that through a snorkel either. <laughs> that was a buoy. Wow. I think you need to get away from these buoys because they're freaking you out more than anything. Dag on it, buoy. Yeah, yeah. Get out your seat and splash around. Splash around. Splash around. Okay, all right. Get like a dolphin. Don't drown. Don't drown while trying to dance. Wow. That's really hard. Yeah. You throw your arms up and down the rest of you goes. Alrighty, we are slowly making our way back to the shore. I think we have about two hours until dinner, so we're gonna head back to the ship, get our showers, and get all tidied up. But a fun, long day in Grand Turf. Holy moly. I think, I think you're running out of water up here. You might have to stand up eventually. I know, so sad. Ah, uh, yep. Well, that's definitely still a male voice on the elation. So I'm wondering if it's handover week. Maybe whoever the cruise director was is still kind of acting and maybe Jen's going to take over next week. But they're making their announcements to get back on board. Squeak our way back through the duty-free shop. <laughs> Goodbye, Grand Turk. Our last port. This is where we start crying. We'll see you next time. Okay, that's true. <laughs> Boom. Oh yeah, see now, from up here, I can see all the fish that people were seeing as we were snorkeling down there. You should see them from in the water. <laughs> well, when I look at your footage, I guess I will. That's cool. Yeah, they just hang out right here. All right. Do not cross the yellow line. Though. All right. Just check it. <laughs> We just got back to the cabin and peeking out the window, the elation is pulling away. Au revoir. I don't know why the elation is French, but you know. <laughs> so we're here for about another two hours, but we're gonna get some showers and that rhymes. Happy Hello. dinner time. <laughs> That's how it always starts at dinner time now. Mm. We are all freshened up, showered, so fresh and so clean. We are not outcasts anymore. <laughs> Get that was it. good. I like Music that. jokes. Very uh, after our day in Grand Turk. It was amazing. You saw lots of fish from As what always. I heard. Yeah, I saw some yeah. fish I've never seen before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but we swam, we ate, we swam some more. We swam Co like a lot. Couldn't get in the pool. The pool was closed for about two hours from what I heard. So oh. we must have just happened to go over there right after the bomb had dropped. And we, you know, they were cleaning the pool. So. Was there a problem? Nope. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. I thought they were just literally cleaning the pool. Oh, no, I thought I told you that earlier. No, they said a young child had laid one uh, out in the pool. I was going to say, I have water in my ears. I can't hear anything. Gotcha. <laughs> but anyway, we are ready for dinner. I think we're going to run down to deck three and check out the sunset because yeah. the sun's setting right now. Yeah, and then roll dinner. Let's go. Right, right. The sun's getting away from us. Don't let the sun. All right, go. Okay, bye. <laughs> so the sun is mostly gone, but we get the remnants of the sunset anyway. We were, so that's right, we were getting ready during the actual sunset. So there we go. A little post sunset action from Grand Turk. Dee's trying to get back in that water. You know, you just got out of that water though. Still want to get back in. I know, your fish friends are still there. I'm sure they miss you. Oh gosh, that got blurry. Hey now. But anyway, we're going to head to dinner. We just had to come out here and sneak in a quick sunset. Oh, oh there's my hand going. Look at it. Wow, just look at it. It doesn't look as pretty on the camera. No, <laughs> it doesn't.
So we got the blood sausage, which was the special appetizer tonight. I just tried it. It's actually not bad. I tried it on the breeze, and it mostly tastes like all spice. Now this one, there's not actually a lot of seasoning to it, but it doesn't taste like blood. So <laughs> we'll try it. It just kind of tastes like meat. Yes, I know. It's really not, it's not bad. bad. Don't be afraid of blood. At least on here. I probably wouldn't eat it in like here. Oh, like real? No. Anyway. Hi, <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. another movie. I know, another dive-in movie. It is Captain Marvel tonight, which neither of us has seen. So, brand new movie for both of us. Captain Marvel. It should be marvelous. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. There are still plenty of seats out here. D done snagged us. Some loungers. Starting to rock and roll a little bit uh, tonight. Hopefully, it won't be too bumpy a ride. I got two sea days left and they need to be smooth. I know there's like a little bit of a warm front coming through that's generating some thunderstorms. So, calm down, ocean. And they've got the dome fully closed tonight, so I don't know if there's any rain in the forecast, but we should be safe from any inclement weather. Oh, there we go. Took it a second to think about it, but it's going. Oh, nope, um, well. Oh, yeah, yeah no. No, nope, oh, nope, okay. Oh, almost had it. No, not, not quite, uh-oh. Well, that was cool. Oh dear. Just when you think it's getting good, uh, it gets ungood. All right, it looks like it's gonna work, so we're gonna watch a movie. Movie time is over, so that means it's ice cream time. Works for me. It's also wind tunnel time. Yow! And now we are headed up front for the main show of the evening, Heart of Soul. So I'm hoping it's not too rough tonight where they have to do a concert version. It looks like they're set for the normal stage I show. Think it's so just a slight it's a slight rock. It's not bad, yeah. Okay. So hopefully I think we'll get the full on show. Yeah. Um, yeah. We've seen so, it once tonight. Yeah. And this is the last big show for you all tonight, so we want you to have a great time. And if you're ready, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please put your hands together. Welcome to the stage, the cast of Heart and Soul.
Good night. Did you hear that elephant make that noise? That yeah. Was so that was loud. Good thing it's not super late. It's like 10 15. So it's like 10 15. Oh my gosh. You're very close. I'm proud. So we came back to the cabin. Mm -hmm. We got a towel elephant, which was exciting. Look what I got you. Aww. It's a flower just Yay. for you. Have <laughs> it. So we went to the Beautiful. Heart of Soul mm -hmm. show and we got picked by John, aka Coach Rice, aka the bingo dude. And then Robbie tried to pick us up. Robbie tried to get us too, yeah, to uh, sort of, I guess just uh, Dr. E interviewed us a little mm -hmm. bit about how long we had been married and Where how we, we proposed, met. right, all that stuff. Kind of like a Sunday live stream for us, <laughs> really. It's those kind of questions. Funny. But we got champagne, yeah. we got cookies, okay. and he got a flower for uh, you know participating. And we got to sit right up front, which is why we got some real close show footage. Anyway, because we were in the second row. We didn't have to get up on stage, it was just from the seats. Yeah, apparently. So it was lovely. It makes me cough because <laughs> just pretend like you're I laughing. have a flower. I know. Wait, can I take this off the ship? It's agriculture. No, you have to eat it before we get off the ship. So the cookies and the flower have to be eaten. Yeah, that's weird. Sad. Too. Well, Aww. have a few days to enjoy I'll it try before it. you probably can't take it off the ship. Did you do this? You just hang it up? Sure. <laughs> Seems like some kind of weird ritual you would do in a forest <laughs> somewhere or something. I don't know. Just summon something. Anyway, sure. um, yeah, but we are back in the cabin and I think we're going to bed. We're going to chill out. It's been a fantastic day. It has. Yeah. So, but a lot of swimming, you know, you're tired and then your back hurts <sighs> from sitting in that crazy deck chair watching Captain Marvel it was good for two then. hours. It was good. It was very good. <sighs> but now we're just going to rest. Yeah. So we have two. Full sea days ahead of us. It's rocky. Um, and there's a bit of a, like a cold front. It's a warm front. front coming through. So it's going to make it a little rocky. A little bit. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Ooh, yeah. Oh, Ooh. that looks really cool. Wow. You Okay. Not, you, yeah, can you get real close now? Oh, gosh. Uh, but anyway, we'll see y'all tomorrow on the first of two sea days back to Baltimore. So sad. No, it's okay. All right. <laughs> Good night. Bye. Tabata. No, that was old. That's an old joke. I wasn't. I wasn't ready for that joke. You weren't ready. I don't think you're ready for okay, this. That's day. enough. You can't. Don't shh. That actually makes more sense. No.